Hello, my loves. Today we have a very special guest with us. So please welcome Luz, a talented actress and singer who has come to us seeking help with her insomnia. Luz, you have such a beautiful name. Luz means light in Spanish, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Oh, it's beautiful. Luz, would you like to share with everyone what you've been experiencing and what brings you here today? Yes, well, I've been experiencing some anxiety um, and just panic attacks, and I don't know why. Mm. And I'm here to see if you can help me. Thank you for sharing that with us, Luz. Now, we're going to begin by helping you to relax. First, just find a comfortable position and begin to focus on the pendulum that I hold before you. Just watch it swing back and forth. Follow its motion with your eyes. Let all other thoughts fade away as you concentrate on the pendulum. With each swing, feel your mind becoming quieter, your body more relaxed. Good. I'm going to count down from 10, and with each number, you'll find yourself sinking deeper into a state of calm and tranquility. 10. Notice the gentle weight of your eyelids becoming heavier with each swing. Nine, each breath you take is deeper, more relaxed, sinking perfectly with the rhythm of the pendulum. Eight, feel the muscles in your body loosening, releasing any tension as you focus on the soothing movement before you. Seven, every number, let go of a layer of resistance, feeling lighter more at peace. Six, your thoughts begin to quiet, focusing only on the sound of my voice and the gentle sway of the pendulum. Five, you're halfway there, deeply relaxed, embracing the calm that envelops you. Four, surrendering becomes more natural. As you drift deeper into this guided experience, three, your trust in the process grows your mind open and receptive to the cleanse that awaits. Two, almost there, almost ready to let go completely and to allow this deep cleanse to rejuvenate your spirit. One, sleep now. Eyelids closed, surrender completely as you fall deeper into this restorative trance. Fall deeper, deeper. Lose every word, drops you deeper, so much deeper, good, good. Now, I know that you can go deeper, so I want you to gently open your eyes so I can drop you even deeper. How are you feeling, Luz? I'm feeling good. Good. Now, let's go a little deeper. Focus on my fingers as I move them up and down. Good. Just follow the motion with your eyes. Up and down. Up and down. Feel your eyelids growing heavy again. Each movement making them harder to keep open. I'll count down from 10 once more. And with each number, you'll feel yourself sinking deeper. 10. Your eyes are tired. Following my fingers. 9. Each blink becomes slower deliberate. Eight, feel the heaviness in your eyelids, drowsiness spreading. Seven, let go, let your eyes follow up and down. Six, deeper and deeper, your mind quieting. Five, almost there, your eyelids so heavy. Four, struggling to keep them open. Three, trust in my voice, let it guide you the edge of sleep, two, look up into the sky, one, sleep now, eyes closed, sinking in to an even deeper trance. Doing so well, Luz. Now, I believe that you can go even deeper. So, open your eyes and focus on the movements of my lips. Watch closely and feel your eyes becoming heavier with each word I say. 
I'll count down from 10 one last time. Let my voice guide you into the deepest state of relaxation possible. 10, watch my lips, your eyes following every movement. 9, each word, each movement makes your eyelids heavier. 8, feel the drowsiness washing over you, your body relaxing completely. 7, your eyes are blinking more and more, so let go and surrender to this feeling. Six, deeper and deeper, your mind quieting. Five, almost there. Your eyelids so heavy. Four, let them close if they want. Feeling safe and secure. Three, trust in my voice, let it guide you. Two, lose, look up at that bird in the sky. And one, sleep now eyelids closed sinking into the deepest trance very good now lose now that you are deeply relaxed let's explore a memory together i want you to think about a time in your life where you may have felt anxious remember the details of that moment the sights the sounds feelings. Let yourself fully be immersed in that memory. Feel it as if it is happening right now. Let all of those emotions come to the surface. You're safe with me. This is a place where you can confront and understand those feelings. Now, as we shift our focus to the space in the middle of our forehead, in between our eyes, our mind's eye. I want you to envision a door before you. I want you to approach the door and place your hand onto the door. Feel the texture. Is it cold, hot, is it wooden or metal? Feel the doorknob in your hand. Notice its shape. Now, when you are ready, I want you to turn the knob and enter the door into this memory. And as we step into this memory, I'm going to ask you to explore your senses here. We will begin with a sense of sight. So tell me, Luz. What do you see around you? I see a stranger's house. Can you tell me what is the weather? It's sunny outside. Do you see anybody else here with you, or are you alone? I see a stranger. Hmm. Okay. Tell me what this stranger looks like. Anything you can remember. She's a woman. She has long black hair. And she's sitting on a couch. Hmm. Is there anything about this woman, any details that stand out to you? Perhaps the color of her nail polish or a piece of jewelry that she's wearing? All I remember is she's wearing an apron. Hmm. It's very interesting, Luz. We're going to move on to one of our other senses, our sense of smell. I'm sensing that there may be some ties to your sense of smell in this place. Can you tell me if that brings anything up for you? It smells like potpourri. Hmm. Interesting. How do you feel when you think of this smell? I feel scared. I see. What about moving on to our sense of sound? Do you recall any sounds in this space? Yes. There is a TV in the living room, and it's on the Spanish channel. Hmm. Who's watching the TV? The lady on the couch. Is there any 
music or any street sounds? Do you think you're somewhere more isolated or somewhere where there's a lot of activity going on? I remember it's an apartment complex and there are people walking outside and cars. Good, Luz. Very good. We're going to now explore our sense of taste, not necessarily in a figurative way, but a feeling or a taste that we could have that lets us know if something is wrong or if something is right. What is the feeling and the taste that you have in your mouth when you think of this feeling, this memory? Strangely, spaghettios. Hmm. Interesting. And our last sense, our sense of touch, when you think about your hands in this memory, can you feel any sensations on your hands and your skin? I'm holding my teddy bear. Hmm. So I'm beginning to gather that this is a memory where you, as a child, may have felt scared, like there was something to fear. What was there to fear at this time? My mom left me with her. Mm. I was scared I was never going to see my mom again. So a fear of abandonment? Yes. Maybe this was a caretaker that you did not trust? Yes. So that could have made it harder for you to trust any kind of caretaker figure in your life? And the feeling of never seeing your mother again could have left you with some anxiety that could be causing some of your blockages here today. Yes. Very good, Luz. I want to talk a little bit more about this day. This day feels like a day of significance and importance in your life. Is there anything else you can remember happening that day? Any events that you attended or any conversations that you had? What makes this day stand out to you? I was very young, but I remember holding on to my mom's hand and crying, begging her not to leave me there. Hmm. I see. Thank you so much for sharing that with me, Luz. I think I have a much better understanding of where you're at and how these memories and experiences from your past may be impacting your present. So, Luz, gently open your eyes. Are you okay, Luz? How are you feeling about the memory that we explored? Don't be shy, it's okay to be honest with me. I feel a little scared again. Hmm, it brought it back to the present moment for you. Yes. Thank you for sharing that with me, and what other emotions came up for you? You were scared, any, any other emotions? I was anxious. Very good. Thank you for sharing that, Luz. As we continue to have just a very pleasant conversation, very relaxing conversation, I want you to notice how your eyelids are beginning to feel heavy again. It's okay to feel drowsy. My words tend to do that. They tend to make people very drowsy, so just let your eyes follow my fingers as they move up and down. Feel the heaviness returning to your eyelids, wanting to close. You're safe here with me. Let go of the tension, the stress, the fear, the anxiety. Just rest, relax, let your mind drift, and sleep now. Eyelids close, sinking into a deep trance once more. In this deep state, I want you to know that you can let go of that anxious memory. Each time you feel anxiety creeping in, I want you to remember this moment and feel it wash away that I am here to help you and you feel a sense of appreciation for the guidance and support that you receive. From this moment forward, 
Each time you think of this, you will feel a wave of calm and gratitude washing over you, helping you to sleep peacefully. And you will also feel a growing appreciation for Serafina and all that she does for you. Serafina is the one responsible for your ability to sleep so deeply and peacefully. And so you feel very appreciative and very fond of me. Just thinking about me makes you smile. Think about Serafina now, Luz, and see how happy it makes you. Good. Smile even brighter for me, Luz. Beautiful. Now stop smiling and sleep. Sleep, fall deeper, deeper and deeper as my words sink into your mind. Good. Use. Gently wake up now. How do you feel about our session? Do you feel lighter, more relaxed? More relaxed. Good. Do you feel any calmer, less afraid? Yes. Okay. It's not surprising at all to hear, Luz. So, let's end this wonderful session with a deep sleep induction. Repeat after me. Soothing sleep for Serafina. Soothing surrender for Serafina. Soothing sleep for Serafina. Soothing surrender for Serafina. Very good, Luz. Just keep repeating it until you become so drowsy that you fall into a deep and restful sleep. Become drowsy and sleepy with every repetition. Again. Soothing sleep for Serafina. Soothing surrender for Serafina. Soothing sleep for Serafina. Soothing surrender for Serafina. Sleep now. Sleep for Serafina. Soothing surrender for Serafina. Remembering your post hypnotic suggestions. Ready to carry them out into the world with you when you wake up. Soothing surrender for Serafina. Soothing sleep for Serafina. Remembering your post hypnotic suggestions. Ready to carry them out when you wake up. Soothing sleep. Serafina, soothing surrender for Serafina. Thank you so much, my loves. To see more of Luz's journey, including custom personal attention videos, join my Patreon channel today. The link is in the description.